Alright, hello and welcome to this tutorial in App Inventor. I'm Chris Groff. I teach a sixth grade technology class at KSAT, Kruger School of Applied Technologies. Today what we're going to be doing is creating a Pong application. Okay, So right now, uh, basically, you can see the game. It has a little paddle and it moves with a click on the emulator. And the ball bounces around off the edges and the goal of the game is basically to not let the ball uh, cross where the paddle is. If it does that, the game will be over. Okay, And we'll learn how to speed up the ball and make the game harder as we go along. Um, so in part one what we're going to do is get all the components set up. So let's go to my projects, click on new, and let's name it Pong. I'm just going to name it Pong 1. You can name it Pong. Uh, I'm naming it Pong 1 since I already have a project called Pong. All right, the first thing we're going to start with is under screen arrangement. We're going to take a horizontal arrangement and move it to the top of the screen. And then next we're going to go to the basic palette here. And we're going to load in a label. So let's drop that label in there. Let's rename it score label. And then under text, we want the text to say score. And we'll change the font size to 18. And let's change the width to 150 pixels. And we'll change the height to 30 pixels. And if you want to change the color, you can do that. You can also change, if you want to bold it, go ahead and do it up however you'd like. We're going to need two more buttons, so we're going to drop those. Just drop it on top of that horizontal arrangement. Alright, so this first one here, let's go re rename that. That'll be our start button and we want to change the text on it to say start and then our second button here let's rename it the reset button that'll reset our game and we'll change the text to reset alright so we've got our horizontal arrangement we've got the score label the reset and the start button and I'm actually just going to switch this so that the start is on the left. Next thing we need to do is get a canvas. So we're going to drag a canvas down. And the canvas is where um, our game will take place. We need to set up some properties on it. So under width, let's put it at 300 pixels. And then the height is going to be 390 pixels. You can change the background color to uh, background color right here to any color you'd like. Uh, I wouldn't use like black. I'd pick something else. Let's see. I'm gonna go with cyan. You can always change it later if you don't like it. And then after you have the canvas, we're gonna put in two animations. We're gonna have a ball animation, and we're gonna have an image sprite animation. And basically the difference between the two is with the ball animation uh, you can change just the radius and the speed and all that. With an image uh, sprite you can add in a picture. Alright, so let's select the ball. We'll just call it ball 1. Under heading. Now heading is the direction in degrees. We're going to put that at 30. And let me, I've got a little picture to show you guys. Okay, so in App Inventor, basically, if you want it to to go to the top, it would be on 90. Okay, zero is to the right, 180 is to the left, and then 270, 270 degrees would be down. That's if we had a timer going off, it would move simply in that direction. Uh, we are going to use some blocks to control, basically, the direction that it goes. So we're going to set the heading at 30 and then use the blocks editor to control 
uh, basically a random fraction multiplying by 30 to get it to move where we want. You can see the edges. So edge to the top is 1. Edge on the bottom is negative 1. And then you have edge negative 3 for the left and edge, edge positive 3 to the right. And that's basically when it bounces around the screen. Uh, you just need to know where that's at. Okay, so our heading, which is the direction in degrees, is going to be 30. The interval, that is the frequency of the movement in milliseconds. And remember uh, from previous mole mash, 1,000 would be one second. We're going to set it up at 50. Okay. The radius is the size of the ball, and we're going to put it at 20. and speed is at 5. That's how fast it's going to be moving. And that's the number of pixels that it moves basically each time. So it will be moving at 5 pixels. Uh, and also what we could do later on in the game to make it harder is change the radius. We could have the radius of the ball get smaller to make it harder to move. And you can also paint it. You can change the color of that. I'm going to give it, I'm going to have a red ball. And then the last thing we need to do is the image sprite. We need to upload a picture for that. And I'm actually, let's rename it. Instead of image sprite, we're going to call it paddle because it'll be the paddle for our game. And let's upload a picture. So if you're in my class, you go to upload new, choose file. You're going to want to go to the 506, Google App Inventor, and go to Pong all the resources are going to be in here. You want to select Paddle and open it. Click OK and then click OK again. And that will be our Paddle. If you're not in my class, you can go to Pong, basically this address right here on App Inventor. That's where I'm getting this lesson from. It's one of the uh, curriculum items. And uh, they have all the resources on here. Uh, and it talks about some challenges that you can do. But basically materials, if you just click on this link, you can download the images and sounds for this tutorial. Uh, and that is going to be it for part one. So once you've got all those components in, just hit save, save your work, and then move on to part two.